On this Whirlpool Duet model, the metal front panel to access the fuses and the heating element is down here. You'll need to remove the screw here and another screw over here, and then just pull this metal piece down and out of the way. I just left my screws here on the floor, but don't lose them. Make sure your dryer is unplugged when you do all this. To test continuity on the heating element, you turn on your multimeter to the continuity setting and first touch the probes together until you hear a tone. That means it's working and ready to test continuity. See the link above or in the description for more info on how to use a multimeter to test continuity. Okay, so I realized I did some continuity tests on the high limit switch and that had continuity. And then when I tested here, this one, and this one, and I didn't get any continuity here, and I didn't get any here. So this element is bad. So that means I, I, uh, I, I just unscrewed this and unhooked it. And then I can just pull this out. And uh, you can look at the the limit switch there um, for high temperatures and that's still good um, that has continuity so um, the element in here I'm not getting any continuity from through all the coils so um, I'm gonna have to replace this so I'm gonna have to see if I can buy a replacement part for uh, this uh, whirlpool duet but I think uh, Repair Clinic or one of the other uh, online things might have the part. So I have the new element right here, and I'm going to test continuity on either side of it. Okay. Once again, if you if you test the continuity on the old one, there's no continuity. On this side or this side so I'm gonna unscrew this first you got to take the wires off and then you're gonna unscrew this mounting bolt and then this will slide out and we'll take the other one and put it in here again okay once you get that that little screw out that little metal screw you just pull this out from here put that aside and you're gonna get the new one and you just slide this new one in it'll just stop right there and then you'll take the the screw and screw it back in All right, so it's all reattached, and we're gonna put this limit switch back in here. Screw that in, because that one works still. And then I'll show you, uh, uh, we'll test continuity again, make sure everything's hooked up again. Okay, so when you have that all connected, you're gonna reconnect this guy right here. You want to have uninterrupted power from here to here and then you're going to connect this one to here and this one to here and this will give you the power from your dryer to get here and then it'll go to here go to the high limit switch go to this one power all of this coil and return from here back to your dryer we're gonna test continuity on different areas of this to make sure it's all ready to go. I have the red probe on that side going through here, through the limit switch. We're gonna go from here to here. And we hear a beep. That means this thing is gonna work. You gotta put it back in here, gently. You gotta be careful because you can, you don't wanna knock your cables or cords out. You're gonna put it back in here and screw it in. You're gonna screw it into these spots 
and then you're going to put the wiring back on and uh, it should, if I'm correct, should heat up. Okay, I got the, the one dryer and I'm going to put this final one on. All right, so that's all wired up. And now I need to plug this back in to the wall and it should fire up. We'll see pretty quickly. When you go to plug this back in, make sure you don't touch the side post. And uh, you wanna make sure that your, your exhaust is hooked up too. Okay, so turn it on. And we'll see if this thing heats up. And the element is starting to heat up. I'm not going to say this is super easy to do, but if you just take your time and troubleshoot through each of those components, you should be able to replace them 